What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel and some more Flames of War coverage. We got more Americans for you guys today, mid-war. And we're going to take a look at the Armored Rifle Company HQ. And this is, again, the new one here of Classic. So it looks like we got a couple neat things in here. We'll be right back after we get this open for you guys. Alrighty guys, and we're back, and we got everything open up for you. So for such a you know rather you know typical size blister, um, there's a hell of a lot of stuff in here. So starting off on the miniature side, um, so we get two of these sort of uh, carbine team uh, sprues here. Um, they're basically both the same here, so we'll kind of set those up here and show you guys. So um, and again, they're the new plastic and all that. Um, maybe we can get these guys to focus properly for you. So again, good details all around. No complaints or anything there. Um, looks like actually we got even there's like a BAR gunner in here too, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see if we can't get the detail in there. There we go. A little bit better. Oops. And on the back side of these guys here, so we get two of those, and then we get one more sprue, which um, basically are the various, uh, passengers, I believe for, um, the Jeeps. Uh, although I think also for a command base here. So there are some guys that are standing up. Um, but it's interesting that there's basically these two guys here that are s sitting down and I don't think, I don't know if they're supposed to be passengers in the Jeep or just sitting, uh, the picture on one of them seems to indicate that they're those guys, but we do get a couple of bases as well. And here we still get some metal bits and there's some metal, um, either drivers or passengers in here it might even just be the gunner. Um, have not actually cracked these open all the way, but um, we do get our bits there for the um, 30 cals, um, or I think maybe uh, might even be 50 cals. Um, so it actually looks, oops, looks like a 50 cal, but there's also a mortar here. So, and then last but not least, of course, uh, the Jeeps. Uh, so again, still the, the resin that we're all used to, um, and one piece models there. So again, good stuff on the details. A little bit of cleanup work here and there. Thankfully, the wheels are <laughs> part of the sculpt, not um, not separate metal bits. So, and then the HQ itself. So, we start off here with the uh, the HQ uh, again. Hit on threes. The air aggressive infantry save, of course. Confident and determined there, and then still green um, overall for skill. Um, again, basically Americans. Uh, coming into the war with not many really well-trained necessarily or veteran units of any kind so it's nice to be able to feel green americans but obviously that gives way to basically regular vets as we go through the war typical infantry moves there and then as we said these are basically m1 carbine teams and if we flip these over um, so we get an idea of points here so the rifle company hq got a couple options both are uh, two points here, so we can do two carbine team, two carbine teams, and a uh, uh, one M3 half track, which again we don't have here. We'll get that in a different uh, box, but um, that would run us two points, and that gives us a 50 cal if we want to go that route. Um, or we take the two teams and actually just put them in two jeeps, also for two points, might be better because then we're getting two jeep uh, MGs there, which. Um, uh, I would imagine that are just like the 30 cals, um, since they're differentiating 50 cals there. Let us know in the comments, guys, if that is indeed the case. Again, we don't play Americans as our main force. Um, special rules here. So HQ transport, um, Jeeps or M3 half-tracks are part of the HQ unit. And passenger one, so Jeeps in the HQ unit can carry one infantry team as passengers, so that makes sense. And then as part of the uh, Armored Rifle Company infantry formation here, so... Basically, you have one HQs, which is what we have here, two to three rifle platoons, up to one uh, 37 mil um, armored AT uh, platoon. So again, um, this is before the, the 57 mil that a lot of us will use for later in the war and stuff like that, or a lot of you American players, I should say. Um, also, the option of having a 1917 MG platoon. Check out our other video on that. So it gives you a lot of um, uh, your firepower. Uh, up to one 81 mil armored mortar platoon. Um, and then uh, I think those are partially, at least in uh, uh, half tracks, but they might be in the Jeeps too, since I think uh, we're getting that option here. Um, have to double check on that. Uh, and then uh, zero to one T thirty seventy five millimeter assault gun platoon, if we wanted to go that route there. So pretty interesting stuff there overall. Um, let us know in the comments too, guys. You know, for you guys playing um, uh, Americans in like the 
earlier part of the mid-war here, uh, Africa and so on, um, you know, let us know uh, what your successes or failures or difficulties have been with the Armored Rifle Company. Um, be really interested to hear about that. And then the other Jeep card that we have here, again, same stats as above, but um, still have the Jeep, um, and this is the Jeep itself here, I should say. So. Uh, just to make sure we're clear on that. So the MG, of course, uh, whether you're moving or um, standing, uh, still rate of fire three. Uh, your typical uh, MG stats there does have self, count as self-defense AA, so that's always nice. And then you have an option basically to run a 60 mil mortar out of these guys. Um, so I guess that's different than the 81 mil on the other side there. Um, but AT of one and firepower four up. Um, no smoke, of course, there. And then the Jeep, basically, um, so components of the Armored Recon Patrol, so the number there, or the M3 Armored Rifle Company HQ, which we, again, just talked about above. So a couple special rules here, though. So scout, so teams can remain gone to ground while moving. Um, and then self-defense AA, basically, um, fired aircraft with uh, rate of fire one, so you know, something's better than nothing. Um, and then unarmored, so basically not charging into combat and you have to break off, which makes sense. I mean, you're, you're just in a Jeep, um, you're not going to plow into a infantry formation or something uh, and, you know, hope to come out alive, really. So those are th those two there. And then we get our card here for the fighting first. Um, so different formations, so there's uh, things like the M3 St uh, Stewart Company, Lee Company, Sherman Company, or M10 Tank Destroyer Company, so lots of... Uh, various flavors of armor there. We could also run the Armored Rifle Company, which is kind of what this is uh, getting at as a start, and then also just regular rifle companies, and then what we get as options for support units here. So uh, for the Americans here, so up to two Armored Recon Patrols or Recce Patrols, uh, up to two Priest Batteries um, or a single 105 Field Battery. So again, Americans can definitely bring some artillery. Um, up to one M3 Stewart OP, or um, Observation Post, uh, for spotting purposes. Up to one T28E1, uh, 37mm AAA platoon. So if you really want to get a little bit more serious about um, uh, air cover. And then also the P40 Warhawk flight, which we um, showed in another video as well. So... And then as we can see here, so you may field uh, compulsory combat units from any formation in the force as support units as well. Uh, wild card there, and then allied support. Um, you may field one compulsory unit from a British formation as support, and one British formation as an allied formation as well if you wanted to. So again, lots of uh, interesting combinations there. And then of course our other card with our movement orders for the Americans, and of course the fighting first artwork here, so pretty cool stuff overall. So like I said, uh, there's quite a bit of stuff in here for um, what is uh, ultimately just um, two Jeeps and a couple of stands, right? Um, there's, uh, you know, you get, what, four cards, three unit, three uh, plastic infantry sprues, the two Jeeps, and then the bits and stuff to make the, the Jeep uh, Jeeps complete along with the bases. So pretty cool stuff overall, guys. Let us know um, how, again, you have fared with your armored rifle companies here for the Americans. be really interesting to hear how you go about building your lists for that. Um, again, we're... We're focused more on the Axis side, but this is for one of our buddies who's going to be starting uh, Flames with us, and um, will be uh, joining us for some battle reports once he gets all this stuff uh, built and uh, slap some paint on it. So let us know, guys, um, and hit us up with a like and a subscribe. Uh, if you could, it helps keep the channel growing. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.